Hey, Life Code Agents, it's Tristan and Nick, and today we've got great people with us. We've got Dale, Jeffrey, Denise, and Joe, and we're going to be talking about SEO. Who does Ooh, it? I love that topic. Dude, it's sexy, right? I love it. it. Really is. It's very underappreciated. I, dude, I have to agree with you on that. And let me introduce everybody. Everybody knows Nick. Nick, can you show everybody your t-shirt, bro? Sure. It's a sexy t-shirt. Transformers, like the 80s. That's a show I grew up with. I love that. And obviously, I've got the Lab Coat Agent shirt. And let's introduce Dale. Dale, how do you pronounce your last name? Stalfer. Dale is the co-founder of I Found Agent, an amazing website. And he's kind of like built this whole thing out on his own, which is kind of cool, man. I didn't know that. And you've been in mortgage and real estate since 96, right? That's correct. Yep, it's been a while. Awesome, bud. And then we've got Jeffrey, Jeffrey Hogue? Yes. Out of yes. Pennsylvania. What city in Pennsylvania, dude? Uh, I'm in uh, Reading, PA, Berks County. Nice, nice. And when you see his site, your jaw's going to drop. The stuff that he's done on his site to get some <clears throat> SEO, absolutely beautiful. That's why we have him on. And then we've got Denise Heise. Is that right, Denise? Heise. Heise. Okay. Yeah. Denise Heise. She's only on audio, and she is the assistant to Colleen Olson, but she's really what holds this whole team together. She's absolutely amazing. Her job was to break I Found Agent's website and make it absolutely <laughs> even more amazing. So she has some amazing insights on what she's done to get her website to, is, to, to be where it is now, which is super cool. You guys will love it. And then we've got Joe. Joe Griffin, Joe, I don't know much about you, buddy, but Dale says you're absolutely amazing and that we had to have you on. So oh, I appreciate that. Yes, for all we know, for all we know, we're all screwed. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Joe, all I know is that you have a company called Position King and that your focus is on SEO. You're the king of SEO. Is that right? That, that's what they say. That's right. right. So I glad to be on board. Beautiful, beautiful. Somebody says that uh, you have a radio voice. Gotta love that. Oh, that's, that's nice to hear. All right, so let's get started. Dale, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about I Found Agent really quick, just so people understand what it is. And then we're going to get into Jeffrey's site. So Dale, tell us a little bit about I Found Agent. Uh, why'd you start it and what, it, what is it? Well, uh, during the crash back in the 2000s, you know, 2007, 2008, I was getting done with real, you know, doing loans. And I had gotten into doing technology for my mortgage company. I started learning the SEO game. And, uh, you know, it was time to hang up the, hang up the files. And in 2008, shut down the mortgage company I had and got into doing full-time websites a couple of years, uh, I got trained by a guy who was a WordPress expert, and in 2010, started getting referrals from title guys to do real estate websites. So I jumped into doing lots of real estate sites, installed a lot of IDXs on different websites, and in 2011, I wasn't happy with the service we could provide our clients from an, from an IDX perspective. There, were, there, like, there wasn't a lot of products on the market back then. There was a couple of diverse solutions and a few others, but there was a very small playing field. So we put money in a hat, uh, hired a developer, plugged the server into a wall, and we built our own IDX uh, technology. And 2011, we went live and started uh, selling our IDX product to uh, real estate agents in the Phoenix market. And really our job has been, how do we use technology to uh, put our clients in the best place they can with their clients? So and what do you pretty, think is the, is the number one secret for your website success? What is that? Well, it really puts the um, real estate agent in an efficient position to manage their business and with their, with their clients. So using our system, staying in touch with their database, and if they follow what we tell them to do, it markets for them, it generates blog posts for them, it syndicates to social media, it does all the things that real estate agents you know, really 
struggle doing consistently, our whole system wraps it up, puts it all on a bow. And, um, you know, that just, that's the, the strength. And then, you know, we, we follow the rules of Google for SEO, which uh, some of these guys will talk about. No. Uh, you know, it's, it's very straightforward what we do. We don't, we don't play tricks with Google. It's, you know, they, they, they're pretty clear, follow our rules and your websites will do fine in the search engines. And that's how we set everything up. I love it. All right, man. Well, thank you. Let's get yeah. into Jeffrey's site. So Jeffrey, as Dale pulls it up and shares it onto the screen, mm -hmm. uh, Jeffrey, let's talk about why you decided to get a website. Tell me the whole story because a lot of the times agents say, you know what, I just want a website and let's just kind of want to piece it together and then they forget about it. What, what well, where did you come from on this? Okay. The, um, Actually, a bunch of years ago, probably 15, 20 years ago, I started trying to develop my own websites. That was back in the days, uh, um, uh, I can't remember what Microsoft, it was so long ago, I don't remember what Microsoft's uh, program was. Front page. Front page. Thank you very much. Oh, Lord. Uh, what, yeah, <laughs> what got, got out of that ASP.net world and uh, got over to doing some PHP with, uh, uh, with Dreamweaver and uh, really enjoyed uh, that uh, uh, that world. In other words, just the creation of it. You can do a lot with ads and publishing, of course, but it, the web creates an unlimited uh, atmosphere and a platform to represent yourself and your business uh, to prospective clients. Um, you know, interestingly enough, as of last year, um, in the United States, we finally reached 50% of the population that, that shopped online. That means there's 50% to go. We're only at the halfway pole, which means there's a lot of growth beyond where we are. Uh, real estate in the last 10 years has come a tremendous way in, uh, in, in representing itself to the public and uh, uh, where at one time all consumers, you, when you said how many buyers are out there, it was very limited to the people who just contacted you. Now, people don't have to contact you and virtually everyone is a buyer as long as they go to a real estate website and start looking at houses. They're a potential buyer uh, and seller, of course. So I, I thought it very important to have a top-rate website. And one of the things we're going to talk about today is you can have the best website in the world. It can be the best looking and the best functioning, but if no one sees it, it just doesn't matter much. People need to see your site. Um, and so a lot of that... What What's have, that? What have you done differently to make your site visible? Because a lot of agent sites are just there. Right? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, one of the things I started doing early on is writing content. And uh, I believe that was one of the biggest helpers um, in, in getting your site out there and learning how to write or finding someone to write content that's specific to your local market, your local area. Google picks that up very good as relevance. And is it, when you start working with content, you really can get places. Also, with, with what Dale does is uh, with the IDX feed mm -hmm. is you make all your property pages from mm -hmm. the IDX feed, those dynamic pages, indexable. Wait, what now, do you mean? Wait, what does that mean? Indexable? Yeah, what to, to everybody. I want to understand. Okay. I want people to understand that. What that means is if I create a, a web page like real estate in Berks County, Okay. And I write an article about how wonderful real estate is in Berks County. That's one page. I can have that page indexed by the Google bots and that'll show one page out there in, in, uh, in the, on the internet. When there's 40,000 listings in an MLS <clears throat> and you have them all fashioned to your website site through an IDX data feed, now you can virtually have 40,000 pages indexed and it starts with your domain name, jeffreyhillrealer.com forward slash listings forward slash the address of the property. Done correctly, now you have a monster. And I can tell you, that's pretty much how Zillow, Realtor.com, and those other megalists out there get ranked so well is because they just have a dominance of indexed pages out there and content. So you're saying that every search that somebody does or that you create gets indexed by Google and it appears on, on the Google search, right? Absolutely. Every, every address is botted 
as long as it can be found on your site is connecting to your site. So why not freaking, geez, I've got like 40,000 people on my database. I could just create a, a search for all 40,000 and I could be indexed everywhere. Well, certainly that, and again, you don't even need to do that to have these properties index. Um, you can simply by having the data feed, it will ultimately index most of them, not all, but most. Okay. Now, the interesting part is what Dale has done is he's created a system of what I call a property drip. Somebody calls me and says, Jeff, I need a three bedroom, two and a half bath home in, uh -huh. in the Wilson School District. So I can put together a search on my site send it to them through a property drip and every time properties are listed that cater to that buyer's desire, mm -hmm. he'll get an email to click to go to the link to my site on a site on a page that's now created for them. The more visits you get and the longer these visits stay, create unique users, time on site, which are all things that are gauged through SEO uh, with Google. And again, I'm sure Joe can follow up on this pretty well. But you want people on your site a long time. You want good index pages, and you want great content. And voila, you've so, got a ranking site. Jeff, um, you've also done something else. As, as Dale was scrolling through, Dale scrolled yep. like um, you made some icons at the bottom mm -hmm. of your page. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, that—that's what it is. Yeah, Berks County School District Home Search. What the yes. hell is that? Well, what that is is <laughs> if you click on any if you click on any of those if you click on Antietam School District for example the first one, mm -hmm. the first thing you see is a banner, which and again I won't get too deep with this uh, maybe the SEO folks will talk about this but um, the way this page is set up it is meant that anytime someone would go and and want to search Antietam School District homes uh -huh. that my site would rank on page one that they'd find this page thus being able to search for homes in the Antietam School District. So this is a landing page, is what this is. Do you recommend is. everyone do this in their area? Like, Absolutely. Have a, yeah. How many, I mean, that's like the number one thing is like, you know, we want to be in this school district. Well, it's like, he, you know, Nick, there's all the homes right there. Nick, you nailed it. I mean, I've worked with Chime, I've worked with Commissions Inc. I've worked with Conversion and a lot of these other groups. I've had their sites worked with their management groups on user UX stuff and SEO stuff. Um, one of the interesting things is for a long time, they were all doing things like the name of a city or a zip code. The problem with that is in many areas, the name of a city encompasses lar a larger area than people are focused on. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in my area, you go to Reading, but Reading's Exeter and other areas, and people want Exeter, they don't want Reading. So in order to do that, you end up going with school districts. How'd Especially you get school districts, Jeff? Can you scroll What's that? down? How'd you, how'd you get the school districts? How did you see which school district it belonged to? Where Tristan, does your MLS have schools? Yes, yeah. MLS, almost all um, MLSs have school as a, as a search category. If your, MLS has school, if your MLS has schools, then, then it'll, it'll auto-populate. Absolutely. Right, so and, and what's happening on the larger scale of these companies is when you're using zip codes in local areas, you're not getting enough listings in a low inventory market. Mm -hmm. For example, in Berks County, there's 75 municipalities, but there's only 17 school districts. Wouldn't you rather have your customer find homes by searching 17 areas instead of 75 oh. areas? It's so you get, to, you get focus on a school district much better than you do on a smaller area. So you made it simple. You, you went to what the buyer is looking for first. So you, yes. And that's the school district. Dale, can you click on another one so I can see like Boyertown? Yeah. I want to take a look to see what – what Jeff did. Jeff, did you do all this yourself, dude? Yeah. So you just grabbed the information from the city, scroll down, and then did you plot those little properties there or is that part of a uh, website? That's Dale's magic. That's, ah, that's I found agents magic, all the rest of that. Got it. All right. So Joe, I'm going to ask you a question, bud, because this is your like specialty here. When okay. I'm, when Nick and I are creating the, these sites through uh, I found agent, what what are some things that we can add to this section that Jeff has? Well, Jeffrey hit on some great points there. And, uh, you know, he's using these as landing pages and overall ranking. You know, my big thing is 
as Jeffrey also said, you can have the greatest looking website, but if it's not found, you might as well not have a website. So early in this, I started focusing on natural first page placement. You know, you can buy first page placement through PPC, but it's a whole lot easier. Most people can afford and most people want natural first page placement. That's the number one term in my industry. In fact, if you search natural first page placement on Google, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, I rank number one on every search engine that I have for years. I fight web pros, my friends. Sometimes they get number one. I do. But, you know, that's a, a pretty monumental task. Where are you so located, we look, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, good. As long as I'm you're on, not in Los Angeles, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right on the golf course right now in uh, Kierling. So we um, – you know, we look for sites that are easy to work with. And, you know, one thing that when Jeffrey also mentioned having these 40,000 websites, one good thing that I really like about um, I found agent is they use static pages versus dynamic pages or a combination without getting too deeply into that. In other words, a, a static page is a page which is created, which sits there for all time so that Google can crawl and index it, as he also mentioned. And then therefore it can, it can store in its database or it can be searched. A dynamic page is a page that only loads when you ask the question of the web browser and it queries the database and then builds a page in front of you. Unfortunately, many of these real, realtor platforms use that type of system. I was really happy that uh, when I stumbled onto Dale or the other way around, I can't remember how we got his first client's site, um, but it's been great. In fact, it took us what mentioned the client's name, but I think about three months uh, of us coming in and working with this client. And now he just sold his first home in North Scottsdale. These are multi-million dollar homes here. And so he's paid his, I mean, he, this guy's ecstatic. And I so believe Joe, he listed a couple more. Let's yes. say, let's say Nick and I are starting from scratch, right? We want to copy yes. what Jeff is doing because <laughs> this is freaking brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> what that? What would you recommend we do? Do we just kind of rip off what Jeff is doing and kind of plug in the cities, or or what? Uh, you know, well, <laughs> I don't know how Jeff feels about that, but kind of. Uh, <laughs> we're in a different area. The same yeah, time. we're in a different area. <laughs> oh, that's good. But, Joe, uh, yeah, it's the same type of format. I mean, you you want to be able to specify, you know, what you want to rank for, and then you need supporting text and content and SEO. You know, of course, for that uh, for that idea, and there's a whole litany of things that are involved with that from headers. And by the way, you know, the, the nice thing about iFound Agent is it allows you to create yes. and modify headers. It allows you to do internal linking, which is very important. You know, it's where you hyper-reference a particular search engine term and point it to another portion of the page, or you can send it outbound. Um, it's very, I, I like WordPress, and believe me, I fought WordPress. I hated WordPress because we were straight HTML guys, and uh, we use CSS as, you know, as what it was originally intended for. Of course, you know, the programmers fought with us and they eventually won and created WordPress. So we said, all right. So we went into WordPress, you know, this, we're talking years ago. And we made demands and, you know, you have to have it this way and this way. And, you know, it was a great marriage between the two sides, graphic designers and coders. And so Jeff uses WordPress and a nice thing is he uses on a quick server. You know, a lot of times you can get on WordPress and wonder why your page doesn't load. Now, Jeff probably and Dale uh, figured this out at some point, and I know that they've moved to a very fast server system. Is that right, Dale? Yeah. And so, you know, for us, it's huge because we have to we have to edit these pages and load these pages quickly, and uh, so it works out really well for us. But yes, uh, you want your page to focus on the target you want to rank for is what Jeffrey created, and um, I th I'm glad to hear he's doing well. I think it's uh, it's awesome. If you, you guys would like to try something on your, uh, Dale, if you want, on your search, put top realtor in Berks County, just as an experiment. Let's see if it ranks. There's the paid. Well, and then down here, first one after the paid. That's from Phoenix, Arizona. And let me do a little, just uh, just so that everyone knows I'm being honest here, I'm going to log out of my <laughs> Google account because I can skew the results. <laughs> right. And there's Jeffrey Hoke still, and there he is again. So yeah. um, you're, on, you're on Google Maps also. Google Places. Good job, yes. Jeffrey. Yeah. yeah. And there's, 
Again, content, guys, when you're writing content, make sure you're not copy and pasting off Wikipedia and other places. That's plagiaristic. Google catches that quick, and you can get penalized. So there's programs out there that allow you to take content, reorganize it, and utilize it, um, and that it's not plagiaristic. So again, there's, there's a lot of different points. There's about eight or 10 points that Joe, I'm sure, is an expert at. It would tell you that there's things you can do to rank in no time um, you, in, in many areas on bigger stuff, you're not going to beat out Zillow and those guys, but when someone's looking for a real estate agent, they're going to find you. That's correct. Well, and I would actually offer, um, this is Dale. I would offer that if you do drill down into your market area, you can outrank Zillow, realtor.com, truly the big boys. If you're drilled down into your farming and niche areas. That's why it's important to be able to have the control and be able to build the searches that, that Jeff's, you know, Jeff's done. And that's what we teach our clients to do so that you can focus in and, and have a shot at ranking because Google loves to rank local brand websites. They love to do that because that's what the consumer is looking for is to work with somebody local. What what I experienced through uh, working with iFound Agent as opposed to these other what I call megalists out there like Boomtown is the flexibility of WordPress, allowing agents to represent themselves to their clients. If you try that with these other platforms, you really can't do it. You're locked out. You're paying big dollars, not truly getting a representation. You're farming for what I call raw leads, and you got to pay Google to get ranked because there really is virtually no SEO with these other sites. So you're opening your wallet so wide to get haphazard leads most of the time to, to farm out. With, with iFound Agent, you can be precise. You, you can have such precision on what you, where you want to market, what you want to do, <laughs> and how you want to do it. You can still pay for pay-per-click and things like that, yeah. but you're going to get the benefit of self-marketing your site and make it about you and not about these other uh, like commissions, Inc. and so on. Got That's it. what you're going to get. Dale. Yep. Can you show us uh, Denise's site. Yes. While I jump on to Denise, Denise, what do you think about all this? Are Jeffrey and Joe crazy or <laughs> no, it, looks, right on? it looks really, really good. And it gives me some more things to think about also. Right. I, I like the statement what do you want to rank in? And so that's a conversation I'll be having with Colleen is what do you want to rank in? Yeah, I think that's truly important. This is Denise's site. If you can see it, Denise. Oh, that's you, nice. Yeah. You were, you were given the job by Dale to break. I found agent. So <laughs> can you tell, can you tell us what you found, what you're doing on your website? that others can do to make their site better as well? Well, I'd like to start back in the beginning about why you even found Dale in the first place, because one of Colleen's, um, there's two things that were important to her, and that is that she have a professional looking site, and the one I built in Weebly was no longer meeting her needs. And she also wanted to keep people off of Zillow and Realtor.com. She wanted them on her website. And she wanted people going to her website first. So that's how I found um, Dale. And one of the other realtors in her office had his website. And I really liked that. So with, with us, our main purpose initially was to get them searching on our site. And so campaign builder meets the needs. And the best part is we've had several, we've paid several companies for search products but they've never come close to meeting our requirements. They've always been very limited and they're not interactive. I can't tell you, we have a 72 year old client, a buyer who is going in and making searches for herself. So we're just delighted. She's on oh, her wow. page. Yeah. And if, she, and if they don't like the search, we, we ask them their criteria. If they don't like it, they can go in and change it. That was huge. That was absolutely huge for us. Okay. That's super important. I think you got that right on the ease of use. Right. So what are some of the things that you've done with your site that, it, that have helped it rank 
on Google or just made it more, more efficient for you guys? Well, we, we do blog. We don't put a lot of searches in the blog. We're more uh, local, national events. So we blog and... Can we take a look at the blog, Dale? There yep. we go. Oh, you're out, of, you're out of Phoenix. Got it. Okay. Right. We're out of Phoenix. So and What are some topics that you're blogging about that have helped uh, on the home search? Well, the local events have been very, very popular, but we have a lot of out of town clients also that have either moved away or they have second homes here. Phoenix is a great market for second homes, especially in the winter time. (laughs) Wow. We, We try to combine real estate type articles with local articles. We, as you can see, we have a lot of retirees, luxury real estate, Colleen's in a lot of different uh, real estate Market. So we, this blog is more sharing real estate, sharing local events. Um, sometimes there's fun stuff. Uh, Are those some, all of your pictures or do you get them from somewhere? Uh, those are pictures that we get out on the internet. They're not all our pictures. Some of them are. We do have some pictures that we take. Okay. And, um, sometimes I will uh, summarize an article and then link to the article. I don't know if that's what I should be doing, but that's what I am doing. Joe, what are some best practices here for blogs for all of us? So like Nick and I are just starting our website with I found agent and what are some tips that you can say, okay guys, you're going to blog, but do this when you're blogging. (laughs) Well, obviously, um, you know, you're going to want to determine what it is you want to write for. I think everybody's, Said. And so I would focus your blog around that particular subject matter. If it's, say, a home is for sale in silver relief, then you're going to want to put, uh, you know, write a, an article on that. You're going to want to have your header start out with that particular search phrase, which you can select in I found agents uh, editable region. Uh, and then you're going to want to have supporting sentences and supporting paragraphs for that particular search phrase. Um, images are great because Google does look to see if there's an image that's uh, included in the paragraph. And of course, you want to do your alt tags for your uh, images and descriptions, which are also part of the iFound agent um, tools. And everything uh, that you need pretty much for the creation is right there. So um, basically, you know, we say 550 words is the perfect uh, content piece for uh, any subject matter. But it, it needs, you know, the secondary, um, I've heard you know, a minor, if you is the secret. What, what do you think? I'm sorry. I've heard 2000 words was the, was like the secret. Well, you got, you got 500 or 550 and then you have 2000, you know, they're, they're different price points. One is more of a, um, a brief paragraph, uh, a brief descriptive paragraph. The other is more of a, you know, a long, almost a dissertation, uh, they're, they're both going to be very beneficial. Even a, you know, even a sentence is uh, beneficial so long as it's complete. But obviously, the more the better. But there is a certain amount that you want to only put on one page. After a while, it used to be that you'd get penalized. Now Google will just crawl a certain amount and then deem everything past that particular character count pretty much, uh, you know, useless. So they don't put a whole lot of weight on it. You can take any page and you can search the first entire sentence. It'll rank on Google. You go down to the fourth or fifth paragraph. You take that first sentence, you put it in Google, and you'll see it almost doesn't work. And anybody can do that, you know, just as kind of an exercise for their own, uh, you know, benefit. So, uh, but yes, two thousand. If you want to, do you want to write two thousand words for a page, man? I have at it. That's uh, <laughs> going to rank. <laughs> you better. We usually stick to about five hundred. You better roll with some H two headers down the road if you're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And some, maybe some H threes. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice. Dale, anything you want to add here, man? Well, um, he's he's telling us that on when I'm creating a blog here, yeah, there are some tools that you guys have that make it easier. Can you show us some of that? Like when he said tagging and all that. Yeah. So what what Joe was talking about was here's a new. This is a new uh, blog post. So I okay. want to make a new blog post. And this is WordPress, right? So this is WordPress. Can, yeah. So if they're it's like, hey, I don't want to do I found agent, they could just grab WordPress and do it too, right? Just to give people options. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the secret uh, is your IDX, right? The, the secret is, is our IDX mm-hmm. and how we, 
Denise was talking about she's setting up searches for clients and sending them out to their clients. And then one of the things we give her is we give her the option of whether she wants to blog that search or not on her blog. Got it. So she can be working with a customer and we give her the option to blog what she's using or what she's making for her customer. So it's very efficient. So if she doesn't want to put it on her blog, she doesn't blog it. But if she wants to put it on her blog, that triggers a whole lot of other stuff in our system, like syndicating to social media. And it's all instant. As soon as you publish it, it's gone out to your Facebook account, LinkedIn, Twitter, it goes into Google, and it goes out to your client. And it's, it's marketing and you know all in a couple of minutes worth of time. And it gives the agent complete control as to what content do they want to publish or what do they, quite frankly, don't want to publish. So um, that, you know, he, Joe was talking about the headline uh, or the, the header. The know, header, you, that's right. And uh, Dale, and it's important when you name your post, of course, to put your keyword phrase also, I would suggest in, the, in that new post heading that you're about to type there. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. So Scottsdale, homes for sale. Then you would drop down in here and type out. <laughs> I'll just you do see it how way. his URL is created right below his title there, so it's perfect. Yeah. It's hyphenated. It's created so that Google can crawl oh, that. Oh, yeah, so and not underscored. <laughs> right correct. now, I can I can go in and edit this if I want, and I could take out that four to be you know there's some there's some guidelines to make your SEO even tighter, yeah. um, you know that we don't necessarily get into on this call, okay. but there's there's one layer where. If you do what we, you know, we set up all of our sites to do, uh, you know, the 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 90%, it, it'll get you 90% of the way. If you want to go tweak things a little extra, then there's some extra things you can do. Uh, but, you know, taking out extra words that don't really mean anything to the keywords that Google's looking for. So, uh, but we set this up. You don't, you know, an agent never really has to edit these unless they want to get a little, just get a little extra kick. So it's pretty interesting that you can edit the the link so it you know gets more Google juice. I love that. Um, yeah. I just have a question. What, and what do you think the best way for someone to reblog content is? So somebody else's article. Yeah, like how would you you know what's the best way? Um, obviously, and the most ethical way to it, do that. It, this is how I talk to agents about it. Is when when you read something you know, we're all human beings and we all have opinions. And as soon as you read something, you've got a thought about it. There's a yeah, but, or I agree, I don't agree, something. Mm -hmm. That's your first paragraph. Whatever your yeah, but is, or I agree, whatever your commentary is about that article, write about it. And then go into their article a little bit. We call it repurposing. Okay. So repurposing somebody else's content, you know, I've heard it said there's not a lot of new ideas out there in the human race. You know, it, so we repurpose <laughs> things from what other people say. We have our opinions. Brilliant. I got to write that down. I'm going to borrow that phrase to sell. <laughs> That's amazing, Dale. I, I love it. Yep. So, <laughs> you know, fun. that, that's, that's how we teach our clients to do it is give us your opinion about what you're writing about because you have one. And that's what your readers are really interested in. They're not interested in a, an exact copy of somebody else's thought. They're interested in what you have to say about it. And then put another paragraph or something about their article, link to it like Denise was doing, something like that. But is there, is there a website where we can just kind of... Sorry, I almost dropped my other little dog here. <laughs> you dropped your dog? We don't want the other one to fall here. You've been hanging out with your dog a lot. You don't usually hang out with your dog. Here's, here's my oh, here's my dog asleep. Right. You don't, you don't usually like your dog. There it is. But it's being nice to me today. <laughs> uh, so here's here's a question actually from the audience. So I'm going to answer a couple of. Well, I want you guys to answer them, not me. Um, one of them was, it says make sure the images you use are the ones you have permission for. So can you guys give us? websites where we can get images that we can use joe Jeff. dude we have a whole travis tom has a whole blog about four, like 40 yeah, he has a ton of, yeah. Or, 
Any of them yeah. that you recommend? Uh, there's you, you, well, there's there's Flickr, and you can go in and, and uh, search for. You guys may be able to help me. I think it's called Common uh, Licensing. You know, it specifically says that uh, you can use them for any purpose you want. There's there's and and I think it was Nick that was just speaking. He's right. There's a conglomerate uh, lists over at websites. What do you recommend, Nick? Yeah. So one of my favorites is. Hold on. Um, Looking it up. Right hold it up. Because I haven't seen. Is it Pexel? Yes. No. Yeah. I love that one. Uh, yeah. Pexels. Hold on. Let me, let me pull up exactly the one that I use. Give me one second. Pixabay. Pixabay is another one. Pixabay. There's lots of great ones, but I'm, Tristan, I'm sending you the link that Travis wrote. So you can post it in the comments. Perfect. I'll post that up because that was a question. And while you're doing that, I've got a question here. It says, how, how is this I found agent website different from the Y Lopo website? So I'll answer that. Why Lopo, we primarily use to bring in Facebook leads, Facebook lead ads. They do all of our marketing on that end. Uh, the way that we're using I Found Agent is to help us with the SEO, to help us with this unique IDX that Dale has created, which, I mean, everything that every search that we create is indexed. That's pretty crazy. Um, yeah. And I think that, yeah. that alone, if you continually do, will just give you amazing Google juice. So they're different. This is specifically for my site, right? Everything I want to drive to, I can even use this to blow it up on Facebook or Google. Like Jeff was saying, you can do PPC as well through this, this is no problem, right? But I want to use this for organic leads. I want to use this for organic SEO like Jeff and Denise have been doing. Um, Dale, can you go back to Jeff's site? Cause that was, I, I love his site, dude. Can I I want to, if I may, I want to share something with you guys on, on another way to ramp this up. And this is kind of an outside the box thing. Um, my local newspaper, um, it, very popular in, in my area. Um, what I've done is I've gone to the paper five, six years ago and asked them, I rented space in the paper to do an advertorial. Now that's an ad and an editorial. Um, and what I would do is I'd take the articles that I write online and put them in the paper. Um, what happens is you start to get a readership over time that links back to your site. And people start going there, not just to read your articles, but to see who you are, search, do home searches on your site, and they start to use it as their real estate go-to site because you're giving more than just a raw search. I found agents very good for this stuff. Then on top of it, what I did is I went to the local radio station, and now each month I do a radio show for an hour, again, elaborating on what I write in the articles. So what you're doing is you're focusing, again, real estate to me is a lot about focus. Who do I want to serve? Well, of course, everyone, but that's impossible. So you pick a demographic that you like area-wise, your, your consumer, and then you focus your marketing, your marketing dollar at that and get the majority of that marketing dollar to work in that area. By doing these things, you become the expert in your area. People know and hear your name, and then they go to your website to find out who you are. Read your stuff, do the searches, and now you've supercharged your site and your marketing, again, locally, energistically for yourself. And that, to me, was very important. And, and again, I found agent works perfectly for those things much, much better than much more expensive sites in doing this. All right. Can we see some of uh, Jeff's real estate articles above there? Yep. Now uh, we can take a look at what he's written. So how do you, Jeff, do you, how often do you write these uh, articles, man? Every other week. Every other week. And yes. do you include like a home search in them as well or? I not the article. The article is raw um, uh, in the sense that it's data. And these, these, all these articles come out of, uh, you know, I hate to tell you this, but my head. Um, <laughs> just just oh real boy. estate. Just real estate <laughs> stuff. It <laughs> yeah. It, but so it's completely, it's, it's completely um, uh, new stuff. In other words, some of the articles that I've written have ranked number one on Google. We get about three or 4,000 hits a month. Uh, on just the articles. And right now we're averaging about 175 consumers a day going to the site, unique users. Um, and again, I don't pay a dime to advertise this site uh, outside of my iPhone, iFound agent account. 
Wow, man. All right. So Denise, what, what are some of the, uh, the things that you're doing right now besides the blog that, that are impressing you that we should be doing? Well, it sounds like there's a whole lot more I should be doing, but it, <laughs> um, it, because our focus has been on everything that our clients interact with goes back to our website. But I see now we really need to concentrate on you know what we want to be ranked in. And I'm getting a lot of ideas on Jeff's sites, but everything, everything we send to our clients leads back to our website. So I'm talking forms that they fill out. We do a lot of forms, um, even just brochures on home warranties. Every, everything we do goes back to our website. So every open house person, every person that you talk to, everybody goes on to your, your database on the website and they get a home search or no? Uh, no, I'm talking about just driving traffic to our website. Oh, got it. I see what you're saying. Right, driving traffic to our website. Got it. What are you showing me there, Dale? What's there? Well, this is their admin area. Right. So this is inside her admin area. It's, I think it's okay to show this, Denise. But, yes. you know, these are these are their clients. So they've got 27 people that they're interacting with in their site. And here they can see the last time this gal came to their website was April 3rd. Mm -hmm. January 15th, you know, scrolling down May 2nd, May 3rd. And yeah. you can see they sent a property update. They, the client came to the visit the website. So the uh, CRM for iFound agents right in the back of WordPress. That's correct. That's pretty cool. I've never seen WordPress used that way. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. We've, we've pushed WordPress pretty hard with our system. <laughs> can you set up <laughs> listing alerts right through there? Oh, yeah. I, if, if, uh, if Tristan gives me time, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do something like that. By the way, guys, I'm, I'm doing two sites, so I'm going to keep you busy in the next several weeks. Okay, giddy up. <laughs> I'm going to message you. Dale, I'll email you after. Okay. And then, you know, the other thing to point out is that if you look at it this way, this is what it would look like from a mobile device. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, Tristan, did you know you could have a CRM back there? Yeah, man. He showed me... <laughs> Last week, I was like flipping out when he showed me. That is so cool. And you have, I saw that you had email like campaigns and things too. Yeah. Yep. I love it. So I can walk through that if you guys want. But yeah, this is on. all mobile friendly. Um, you can do everything. We have a couple of people that I know of who use our system, and the only place they use it is on their phone. So they set up search campaigns for their clients off their phone. Try doing that in the MLS. Dale, can you, can you show? <laughs> what what i think is the best part of this i mean i could be wrong but can you show how to create a search and and show everyone how it's going to be indexed onto google yeah so i'm going to just jump into what we call our campaign builder this is to me the sauce the magic of our of our whole system all right so cool. you know realtors jobs are typically they work with their clients to do, create searches yep. and then they they take them out and show them houses. They list houses. That's their job. So we're not trying to change a real estate agent's behavior. We're trying to give them a tool to use to, to conduct business with. That's our, that's our mission. So when I come into the campaign builder, and Nick, I'm going to work with you since I don't think you're in the system yet, okay? So if I type Nick, I, I know you're not there. So if I start typing Tristan, well, Yeah, so I have a list of names in here, but oops, I went backwards. So let me go back into the campaign builder and start this over. So add new contact, and I acquired Nick today. I acquired him at an open house. Okay. So he's a nosy neighbor, for example, coming into my open house, and I say, hey, Nick, would you like to get a market update for the neighborhood? I can sure. send you active and sold listings once a month. Would you like to see that for the neighborhood? Then you know what's going on in the neighborhood. You see a new listing sign, you'll know right where to go to get the price. Cool. Something like that, okay? Right. So it's Nick. Uh, Nick, last name, sorry, that's bad. Baldwin. Baldwin, that's right. 
Started with a B, so you got it. I, I had the B right. I had the A too, actually. Sorry. Um, Nick, Nick, what's your Baldwin. email? Nick Baldwin at kw.com. Tristan can answer for me. Okay. Uh, and what's your cell phone? 973-9. Actually, that's true. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'll put mine in. Then it's a because part of what we do in a demo is I would show you how I can text you from our okay. system. So I can text you right out of our system. But okay. I can also, and, and actually this will work just fine. So now I save it. All right. And there you are. And I'm going to build a quick search for my, uh, for a neighborhood. Um, so I'm going to do active and closed listings. By the way, many IDX products don't let you do closed listings the way oh, we're doing. Oh, so solds. Solds, yeah. Yeah, we're sending solds and actives in the same search. That is so cool. And two dependings too, nice. And they can what, ho what homeowner that you know on the planet doesn't want to see that information? Yeah. Not all like, homeowners. They, every single one. If, if at least we didn't want to see them around 2010. Yeah. That was about the only time. Does it get indexed? Do the closed? Yeah. Do the closed? Well, they also get indexed. Well, they're already. One of the cool things about our system is they're indexed when as a as a actively sold property they get indexed. Okay. And then when they sold, we change some of the content on the property details page, but we don't change the URL, so the uh, property stays indexed. Okay, perfect. Does that make sense? Yes. yes that's okay. so. So I'm going to do um, uh, Ganey Ranch. So I'm doing Ganey Ranch, and I'm going to go back 90 days. That's the typical appraisal time, right? Yeah, six months. If I remember my mortgage mortgage mm -hmm. days. So I'm just going to search, search results here. Okay. So there's my search results. So... Reds are sold, greens or blues are, are actively listed. Okay, now I can come in here and because I can see I'm from 245 up to 3 million. Okay. So I may have to narrow my search down. So I could go add in bathrooms or price or something. Okay, okay. so but for now, let's just pretend that that's what I want. Yeah, that's what so I want. close this down and I say Ganey Ranch. So that's the campaign title that I'm going to save in Nick's account. Okay. I want to create a blog post because I want to market my website. Nice. So I'm just going to say Ganey Ranch market update. And then I'm, I'll just copy this content down here so you can see. But I can put in a couple of paragraphs if I want, a couple of sentences right here. I don't have to go anywhere else. It's just right on my screen that I'm working with my client for my client. So and then I can share this. What's that? You're creating SEO right here. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. But I'm working with my client. That's the efficiency that we put this together. Okay. Wow. Now, we have this. It says share blog posts with Buffer. This is our tool that syndicates out to my social media accounts. So I'm going to leave this checked. If I, Denise, when she creates her, she unchecks this. And now she's not blogging. She's not necessarily blogging. Sorry, up back up here. She's not creating this blog post when she does a search. So I'm creating a blog post that I want to mark on my website. I'm going to send this to Nick once a month because I told him that's what I would do. I'm going to send it now so that it goes out. And then I'm going to put my signature in here. It's a campaign. Yeah, it's, me, it's called a market update. So that's the campaign type. I'm okay. going to put my name in here. Mm -hmm. We have a few po folks in our company that use this as a demo site. So that's why these are changing. Yeah. Email template. So we give you some templates. We have a buyer search template, and then we have a market update for a homeowner and a past client. I'm going to do a homeowner, yeah. and then I'll just change this neighborhood to say Ganey Ranch. Oh, cool. And then I save the campaign. Now, okay. if I wasn't talking to you guys, uh -huh. that would have taken me two minutes, correct? And Dale, you help people, right? Uh, as far as when you new clients come on board, you walk them through this procedure. Is that right? Oh, yeah. We train them to do, to, to do all this. Well, Dale, what happens after you save it, dude? Where's the blog? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. But uh, I, I was looking at my other screen when I clicked this. Did you guys see anything happen over here or no? No. Uh, did, no. We didn't see this happen, right? No. No. Okay. So no. The, this is kicking off all the things that I want to happen now. Okay. So 
campaign process successfully. So that email is on its way out to Nick. Okay. Now let's go to, what's that? Yeah, I just got it. That's how fast it can be. All right. So Nick, do me a favor. Click the link that's in the email that you got. Yeah, I just did that. And then scroll down and pick a property that says, and where it says view details, click that. Okay. And then scroll down underneath the photos, you'll see a little button that says save property. Yep. And then click save now. Yep. Now do me a favor and scroll to the top of the website mm -hmm. and you'll see a little button that's, or a link that says my account. Mm -hmm. Click that and tell me what you see. Like literally, yeah. what do you see? Welcome Nick Baldwin, your saved properties. And then I have you know, a list. Of, there would essentially be a list. There's one, but there'd essentially be a list. And the search I sent you. Yeah, and save searches, Ganey Ranch. Yep. You're now in your account on my website. And I didn't have to sign up. You just and, were already in there. I didn't have to do yeah, anything. That's right. So no, wait, wait, no password? to No password. Oh, nope, it's all, it's all a cookie-based system. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm done. Where do I stop? <laughs> Deal. Uh, two questions here from the audience while you're doing this. So I don't yeah. One is, can you name two separate names in the letter to the client? So can you put two names like, hey, Joe and yes. Joanne? Yes. So oh, yeah. I could – it. it it's just it's a matter of changing um, and adding a merge field for the co the co person. But yeah, you can do that. And then the yeah. other question is, if because this one comes from anonymous, it says, uh, "Give me all your money, or I'll hack your site." No, I'm joking. It's anonymous, and it says, "If you're currently that was a terrible joke. <laughs> if you currently have a website that you have content on." like SEO and blogs and all that. Can any of this information be transferred to your sites now? Yes, we do it all the time. Oh, easy. Yeah. Let me put, I answered that live. Done. So he, here's your blog Just take it off of the Take it off the previous site. Is he, is he asking if, you, if he wants to transfer his existing site to an I found agent platform, is that correct? It seems like that's what they were asking. If yeah, they're, like if they're changing right. systems. Yeah. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that you put a 301 redirect on the first site because you don't want to du duplicate material on there because if it's traced back to you by Google, which it inevitably will be, you'll get penalized for uh, spamming. Oh, that's a good point, Joe. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. So yeah. the 301 redirect, if if you're changing systems – you have an old URL out there with that content on it. Joe, I'm sure lots yes. of people have SEO questions, dude. What website do we go and visit you at to have to answer questions and do all that good stuff? You know, I'm like the uh, dentist kid has got the worst teeth on the block. My, uh, my website is positionking.com, and it looks very old school. It's been around a long time. Uh, and then also my personal uh, website is joegriffin.com. And um, you can kind of get a, a – history of who I am and how long I've been in this business, which is just an eternity. Um, I designed many of the, you know, submission tools and forms that we all use today. In fact, that was, that became submit a website. That's now, that became, I sold that to web.com. That became web.com search agency, which would eventually became web.com. And, um, wow. you know, so I've been in it forever, man. I've been in it so long. If I'd have you know, known what, then what I know now, I would have patented a lot of stuff, but, we were all geeks back then. We just didn't know. But anybody might have uh, specific questions, feel free to contact me. And, um, you know, you can email me or, you know, find any number nice. that you can find on this website and call me. I just put uh, your info up there as well. So, you know, ha okay. having, a, having a great real estate website is one thing. Like I said, if it can't be seen, it's, it becomes worthless. D having someone who's good at SEO who can guide you and provide stuff for you is is worth its weight in gold. It's something that's truly taken for granted with all these other mechanisms out there. But a great website like I Found Agent and knowing your SEO can can vault your business to levels you you may have never seen. I agree. I I really do. And this is one of a few webinars I've ever agreed to do it because I really like the platform that they're using. They, it, it is. I I had questions for 
day before I even come, you know, can't agree to do this. And every one of them was passed with flying colors. And it, to us, it's a very easy site to work with. It's a very easy site to rank. There's always going to be competition, but oh, yeah. for, it makes our job very easy. Well, I'm one of those real estate idiot agents who I think if I spend more money, I'll get more. I just couldn't do it. I, you know, so I stay with I found agent, even though there's stuff out there that's five times more expensive. It's just not as good. I agree. I agree. <laughs> well, dude, before we wrap up, Everyone, uh, Dale, can you show us where that blog is that you? Yeah. That you, well, and the other thing, this is the inside of Nick's account. So this is his contact record. Okay. And I can put in a note about my conversation with Nick. Here's the activity log. So I processed the email. I sent it to him. He clicked on it. He visited. He saved a property. There's the actual saved email search that I set up for him. Okay. I can actually go in here and change it. Like, let's say Nick said, hey, I only want to see five bedrooms in Ganey Ranch. I could change it and send it back to him. He can change it, and I can see what he changed. Here's the saved property. He's, uh, the fact that he saved this property, he now gets a status update if there's a property you know, status change. Got it. I, I get notified, he gets notified. It's all, it's like, you know, Boomtown and Conversion, all those guys have these tools for notification. We have all of those as well. Uh, you asked if I go to my blog and I click, click news, there's my Ganey Ranch market update. Okay. So there's the blog post that I published on my website. Nice. Okay. What a now when I scroll down, watch this. This is my Facebook. This is one of our business test pages. But when I click Facebook, and I go to my business page that we have connected here. There's my Ganey Ranch market update. God, I, awesome. I didn't do that. That's all automated. So I've now dumped out to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and my stuff's on its way into the search engines because of the way Word, WordPress works. It does an automatic uh, notification out to all the search engines saying there's new – talk about an SEO tool. The great thing about Word – and I – the great thing about WordPress is it sends out an outbound notification to the search engine saying there's new content on this website. Here's the link. Come look at it. And the, they'll send their bots to come look at it. Love it. Dude. There, other systems don't do that. All right, Dale, what's the, somebody asked what the cost is. Is this monthly or yearly? What is the cost? Yep. We, so we have, uh, we have a couple of costs. We have some special pricing for lab code agents. Um, so our normal setup fees are 2000 bucks to set them up. And then our monthly is 199 And what comes with the, the 199 is an, uh, it's our whole system. Plus we give you an automated blogging service that is used to set up automated blogging. Your website's actually doing it for all about Malibu homes. Uh, and then, so it includes all of that. Um, for lab code agents, after tomorrow, I'll say it this way, the price is 1500 But until tomorrow, if you get in contact with us to schedule a demo or want to sign up, it's 1000 bucks. So that we're holding that special through tomorrow. Oh, nice. Uh, through the end of the week. And then I have, um, if you go to ifoundagent.com, forward slash lab code agents yeah I, po I posted up the link okay we're good that's that's where you go and all you do is sign up we need to get your sign up before the end of the day tomorrow oh, I lost also him. the first 200 um you got me i got you back yeah okay so the, the first 200 people who sign up um we're going to give them an extra uh, seo video Dude, I love it. Can you, um, before we leave, can you show how my site is doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I'm on a copy, Jeff, but you know, <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> and I need to start blogging more like the, like Denise is doing. I, I just think this is a stunning photo. Like, it's just, I look at that and I just want to stay there. Dude, those are all my but, pictures, man. They're beautiful. Beautiful. So I love, scroll down, I love this part. As you scroll down more, what I'm doing is I'm separating the beaches there. Yeah, so I'm gonna nice. click into point. I love the way that the polygon tool, so we can draw out polygons for areas. If 
by the way, you can do polygons for searches to your clients too that work exactly the way we just did it. Yeah, and this is all indexed. So yeah. anytime I add anything else or I'm in Point Doom, I can just grab this because yesterday I was there at one of the houses on the top right and I haven't even done the blog yet, but I took my own pictures. I think it's the one underneath that. that one. I, I want to mention something real quick yeah, that's the one. On, on your site. Yeah. Up at the top, all about Malibu.com forward slash point doom homes for sale. Yeah. That permalink, which is the, the address, is uh -huh. so good for SEOing because it's direct. It's not a long URL, which gets caught up when you have nice, short, direct URLs without a bunch of garbage in between. You uh -huh. really got a nice connection for Google. Dude, I didn't even think of that. That is so <laughs> brilliant. You're right. Wow. Good stuff. All right. And other, look at other sites. Just check out some other agent sites and you see these long URLs that make no sense with letters and numbers in them. Uh -huh. No good. No good. You're right. That's what, those are ones that are uh, dynamic that are pulling for a database. It says ID question mark equals and then gives the number of the actual data. You're correct. And that's that thing that uh, Dale showed you when he was creating that post or page when I said, look at the URL is actually being conformed to the title. Do you recall that, Dale? Yep. So that's yep. how this was created. It was created in the back end. Very, it's very powerful. Yeah, that's very what nice. Nick, that's what Nick pointed out too. All right, let's wrap it up, guys. Joe, anything you want to leave us with? No, I just appreciate the opportunity to speak with you, and uh, I look forward to talking to you all again, perhaps individually soon. Thanks, man. I appreciate. It. I put your what's website. That house for, what's that house? that's only thirty-seven thousand a month in for mortgage. Can I? Can I, uh, <laughs> can I uh, I was really hoping to pay 38000 but it's close enough. <laughs> well, it might be a Stop. bidding war. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, Joe, I put your links up here, positionking.com and joegriffin.com, so thank you. And Denise, anything you want to leave us with? Just very, very pleased with this service. Very good staff, very supportive. I love the uh, training videos. I can go out there and look at any time. And nice. a lot of a lot of new things that I'm going to apply to our website today. Yeah, definitely some stuff I'm, I learned too. So very impressed. Jeff Dale, I'm going to email you later, man. I got I know I got to get moving on this. So I'll email you. Okay, sir. And Jeff, how about you, buddy? Well, I just want to back up what Denise said about I found agent. I've been with them since last September and, and I've looked at everything on the market. Uh, I, I really have studied it up and down and got involved and, um, I'm with I found agent and I'm very happy, um, to, uh, to be on this webinar with you guys. It, it was, uh, it was enlightening. It was good. That was really good. Thanks for all the things you added, Jeff. It was really good. Dale, anything you want to leave us with? I thank you for the opportunity, Tristan and Nick to, to be on this webinar today. It, uh, it, you know, we have a great product for agents. It's, it's practical. It's not a gimmick. Uh, it's really designed to give an agent a tool that they can use to run their business, manage their database, market themselves all in two minutes from the palm of their hand. That's and it. By the way, I might add two things. Tristan told me that that it's probably one of the best websites he's ever had. And second, you know, we hear all the time on the on in lab coats, people just complaining about you know having to if they really want leads they got to pay for them and some in some in some markets those leads are 250 500 dollars you know if you're getting them from zillow or realtor but like this is your opportunity to like get those motivated buyers and not have to pay to find them you know so i think that's a win in, in itself yeah if you i mean if you think about it agents work with their clients all the time doing searches in MLS. So what we're saying is transfer where you do those searches to your website and do that, publish what the work you're doing already, publish it on your website, and you'll start building your organic SEO presence in the search engines without oh. having to change a thing. It's just where you do it. The MLS will never get you there. Yeah, agreed. Well, thanks everyone. I appreciate awesome. you. Thank you guys. Oh, thanks, guys. All I'm right, thanks, now, guys. So I sure appreciate it. All right, Take care. Bye. Bye.